Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is allowing the enemy tank to move. So if the enemy tank is staying stationary the entire game, as soon as we find where to shoot or how much power to give, what angle to give, we're just going to keep pressing fire, and that's pretty boring. So we want the enemy tank to be able to move. So how might we move the enemy tank? Well, there's a couple of ways that we could go about it. One, we could make the enemy tank move once hit or we can just move the enemy tank like every time and so uh and, and the way that we'll do that is we're going to come down to where we press the space key to fire so uh scroll all the way down to the game loop and then what we're looking for is pressing the space key so here now basically every time we fire we want them to move but do we want where do where in this do we want him to move? So if we move him, um, say at the top, what's going to happen is you're going to get everything set up. You're going to press fire, and then the enemy tank's going to move. Well, that's pretty lame. We don't want that happening. So after you fire, what we can do is we can allow the enemy tank to move at that point. So what kind what code do we need uh, for the enemy tank to actually uh, to actually move? Well, first of all, we're going to have some possible movements. Okay, so um, what we could do is uh, we're going to say possible movement. And possible movement is just going to be a short list. Uh, we're going to have F and R, forward and reverse. So either goes forward or reverse. And then we're just going to say the move index equals random dot rand range, you know, 0 to 2. So then. We're going to say, um, let's do for x in range, and we're going to do um, random dot rand range 0 to 10. Now, why are we doing this? So the idea is that if our tank is going to move, he doesn't. we don't necessarily want him to move by the exact same amount every time, right? Maybe we want him to just move slightly or a lot or, you know, in between those two, okay? So what this is going to do is for a zero, for, you know, this random range from zero to ten, it's either going to, it's going to move, you know, let's say the, the random range is three. We're going to say three times five, it's going to move 15 pixels. Or let's say it finds a 1. 1 times 5, it's going to move 5 pixels. Or if it's a 10, it's going to attempt to move 50 pixels. Okay. So for x in range, in that random range, what do we want to do? We're then going to say, uh, in this scenario, it's you know conceivable that he moves off of the screen entirely. Uh, so we don't want that to happen. So we're going to go ahead and restrict his movement. Um, so we're going to say if display width time 0 0.3 is greater than <clears throat> the enemy tank x, which is simultaneously greater than display width times 0 0.03, then we're allowed to move the tank. So then we're going to say uh, if the possible movement of move index, so is it a 0 or 1, and uh, does that correspond to F or R? So if possible move index equals um, whoops, forward for F, we're going to go ahead and say enemy tank X plus equals 5. And then we're going to say L if possible movement uh, move index equals reverse or R uh, enemy tank X minus equals five. And when we're since we're doing this, we're actually we're actually uh, moving the tank. So we want to kind of display the tank is moving. So now we're going to go ahead and say game display dot fill white, and that's all. Of this is within that for loop, right? So for each time, right, it's going to do this, and um, 
what we need to do really is call all of the same things that we call down there. So all the things that go on our screen, basically we've got health bars, that's gonna equal, um, or rather health bars is the function. Uh, player, 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 health, enemy, uh, health. Um, and in fact, maybe, I think we might have that all right. Like we should just be able to copy and paste this. So let's do that. Let's just um, let us scroll down here and we're just gonna copy and paste this. I think we can get away with that. So just copy that and really this. So let's copy that, scroll back up here, game display .fill white paste, tab this stuff over, and then we also need that clock tick. So let's go ahead and grab clock tick FPS, copy that, and paste. <laughs> now this might not work out as intended, but I think that's everything we want. So let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. Hopefully we don't get an error. Nice short barrier. Okay, yeah, uh, range, interesting. Uh, so I typoed rand range to be range range. Rand range, why didn't anybody tell me I was doing that? Ooh, another nice short barrier. Fire! So he moves, he fires. So now like I can't memorize where he is. Let's make sure he doesn't move off the screen or something, but it doesn't look like he is. So that time he just didn't move. And now he's moving again, so that was a zero apparently in the random range. Good hit. Go up a little bit. Fire. This is actually a pretty close match, but he's he's gonna get me. Oh man, that was a that was a hard hit. Ooh, but I got him good there. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. This is this is where it all comes down, guys. Do 90. No! <laughs> oh man, that sucks. I almost, I almost got him. That was a really intense game. Um, okay, so now I've got the enemy tank moving, so that's good. We still have a few more things that we want to work on here, but uh, we're rounded out the game pretty well. So, anyways, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying. Um, and that adds a little bit more fun to the game with him moving around. It makes it a little harder. So anyway, uh, got a few more things coming though. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching.